Corona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia. Throsworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve. Fellow Gambians, residents of the Gambia, in July of this year, the Ministry of Health detected an unusual rise in the number of cases of diarrhea and vomiting among children under the age of five within the six health regions of the country in areas affected by flash floods. Many of the children affected later developed acute kidney injuries, resulting in the untimely death of 66 children within the last three months, even though they had the best medical attention and care available. Various laboratory tests conducted on the samples from the victims show that bacteria are the likely cause of their deaths. Doctors noticed a trend among 
the patients, which indicate that some of them are taking similar drugs. This suggests a link between the acute kidney injuries and the drugs as detected in some other countries. Acting on this evidence, the Ministry of Health issued a statement to suspend the use of the suspected drugs. After receiving the false test results, the Ministry also ordered an immediate recall of the drugs from all pharmacies and households. Fellow Gambians, residents of the Gambia, the Ministry of Health has since been working closely and relentlessly with the World Health Organization, WHO, and the Center for Disease Control of the United States of America, CDC, on this matter. Investigations are in progress, and we hope that they will get to the bottom of the outbreak soon. With the support of the WHO, the Ministry sent the drug samples to laboratories in Senegal, Ghana, France, and Switzerland for further investigation. The results received on Thursday, 6 October 2022, confirm contamination of four of the samples. I commend the Ministry of Health for their diligence, particularly for the early detection of the outbreak and their sustained investigative efforts and control strategies. Due to their timely intervention and the support of our partners, the outbreak is now under control, with only two cases reported in the last two weeks. Fellow Gambians, residents of the Gambia, I must state that the child mortality figure of 66 is not at much variance with the recorded data for similar periods in the past. This notwithstanding, my government remains deeply concerned about every death in the country, as well as all causes of premature deaths. In view of this unfortunate incident, I directed for immediate action that the Ministry of Health works with the Attorney General's chambers to review and update the Medicines and Related Product Act the Pharmacy Council Act, and all other related legislative frameworks and regulations. The Ministry of Health collaborates with all relevant partners and stakeholders to strengthen its detection capabilities and establish a quality control national laboratory for drugs and food safety. And in collaboration with relevant partners and stakeholders, the Ministry of Health investigates the source of the contaminated drugs, the circumstances and procedures for importation of medicines into the country and establish safeguards to eliminate the importation of substandard drugs. Already, the World Bank is supporting the government and steps have been initiated to establishing a quality control laboratory at the Medicine Control Agency. Fellow Gambians, Residents of the Gambia, I assure you all that government will leave no stone unturned to get to the bottom of this incident. I urge you, however, to be vigilant enough to ensure that all medicines sold or used are safe and effective. We owe it to the nation and to ourselves to protect the lives of every citizen and residents of the country. In the meantime, my thoughts and prayers are with the families that have lost their loved ones. Loss of life is always a sad moment, especially when it involves tender lives. We regret the loss of each of the 66 children and pray that Allah consoles the brief families. I thank you for your kind attention.
Diuli lani maro lani. Fop lani. Eh, awajodi mianda hano gerde tenge ngalo sabu ngalo Ibrahim journal tao. Joni mianda se yaha ikapiti kinya uloeding. Ha humpondi re maku eskono ne waru. Ah, wade no. Ane kore. Ibrahim mama kuto wani. Mo Amerika. Ah, ko Amerika wani. Kere humpita kifi be musi be mbalu. Mbalu. Bembe anda nda kalau kuwa da wonde aduno si arivi e jude mape a jonde do depas maung gambia har no wed aya ataka di tau kumbudi di no jawi wala no jipi e halan tama ko kalau ko fala kure ise senggo nyame te ini nepa maro e basal bom dete kalau kore widom a hendo to har no wed kadi wana dun dun tu bem a be jonde re mobile phone si ko dun kadi laptop kalau ko wairo di jiba ai kas bawa Tak wau maju nuri. Eh, sekali saya faham umpet ada kau webi. Ya tu Google account mau join in data dong. Wada download app mak peng ayah. Kalau kau humpi mai mak peng dong. Bebe biar mai. Kau want awoi adunawan. Kalau kau wau adunawan. Adun nana i want to kalau di mengambil atau depans. Haran kau webi. Biar mai. Si dulu nafono nebi. Hmm. Imo dan join di dalam mak plus mak penjan. What in join? Ia heba kau faham. What in sam? For the first time in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Biliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Bilomatic printing machine, GPPC can now render high quality and non size restricted printing service supply across the sub region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today, and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable, and efficient service delivery by our team of experts. The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours.